It's day 42, and you want to be the very best, the best there ever was. To catch them is your real test. To train them is your cause. Pokemon. I'm not singing. So this is a bit of a silly challenge today, but there is one video game which takes the world by storm every couple of years, which uses dictionaries in a really, really interesting way. And that is the Pokemon franchise. Now the Pokemon franchise stores information about the characters in a really interesting way because we not only need to know the name of the character, but their species, their attacks, their health, and a bunch of other statistics that you might want to use. However, the problem is, is that the Pokemon franchise is really highly copyrighted. So we won't be building a Pokedex. We'll be building a Mocha Dex. Yeah, Mocha Beasts is the off-brand franchise where we store information about fighting monsters that you can catch in small plastic balls. I'm not sure of the ethics of that, but eh, you know, it's been a successful franchise. Let's go with it. I would like you to build a dictionary that takes in from the user a beast's name, their type, whether they're earth, fire, air, water, or spirit, their special move, their starting HP, and their starting MP. For now, we only want to be able to take in one set of values from one creature and store it in a dictionary. We need to be able to print that out later. And I want you to make sure that when you print it out, you need to check on the type of the beast. If it's a fire beast, we want everything in red. If it's a water beast, blue, air, white. And you decide on the color choices for the rest. So two parts. Take in and store the data, and then when you're printing it out, look at the type of the beast in advance and change the color of the text depending upon that type. Make sure you keep a note of where this REPL is because we'll be coming back to this in a couple of lessons time to make it into a proper game. We're gonna take Mocha Beasts and turn it into an international franchise that hopefully is legally distinct enough from Pokemon to not get us sued. If you're struggling with this, don't forget that you can go to ask.replit.com, click on the 100 Days of Python and find this project to get some help with it or to see what other people have asked. Or you come to our live sessions every other Wednesday with me, Replit 101 and Coding Helpline, where we can help you live with any coding problems you've got. When you're done, share it with us in the community by publishing it and by using the hashtag replit 100 days of code so we can find all your cool submissions and see just how great they are. Day 43 brings us tomorrow to a wonderful idea called a two dimensional list. We can store actual tables of information. This is gonna be amazing. Maybe not that amazing. It's cool anyway, it's cool, I promise. Thank <music> you.